Narcissists are not real people. They are not real or genuine. They are not authentic. They are an imitation of whatever they think you want them to be. Whatever they think you might find desirable or attractive. Whatever they think you like or are interested in. They use you as a model and they then simulate or copy you. They have no identity of their own. They have no characteristics or qualities of their own. They are just whatever they think you want them to be. But that's not really them either. It's a simulation. It's an imitation of a situation or process. They are pretending. They are giving you a deceptive appearance, a mistaken impression. They are giving you the appearance of feeling or possessing an emotional quality. They are engaged in an imaginative game or fantasy. This is either for their own amusement or it is designed to deceive you. It is designed to deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their personal gain. But that's not really them. They disowned themselves a long time ago and now they no longer have any connection to their true selves. All that is left is their false self, which can only imitate to deceive you. It has to trick you into believing that it is real. If they can get you to believe that it is real, you are then handing your power over to them. They then have power over you. They have the ability to direct or influence your behavior and the course of events. But once you have developed the awareness that you are not dealing with a real person, they no longer have the power to affect you because you no longer believe in them. You no longer validate their false self or the illusion that they are trying to portray. When you meditate on your own power and on your own truth, they can no longer deceive you. They can no longer trick you into believing that they are something real. The narcissist lives in a fake alternate reality or fake world with their own interpretations or distorted meanings which are not according with truth or fact. They are opposed to or denying of the truth or facts. They are living a lie and this is intended to deceive you. They have to remain detached from reality and existing in this alternate reality or fake world with their own interpretations or distorted meanings to prevent themselves from being exposed. The false self was created to prevent their lies from being exposed. It was created to prevent anyone from revealing their true, objectionable nature. Since the creation of their false self, they gradually became more and more disconnected from their true selves, which they no longer have any connection to. Now all that exists is their false self which doesn't really exist either, as it isn't real. This has left them detached from their soul. It has left them detached from the spiritual or immaterial part of them, which has left them unable to create their own emotional or intellectual energy. This has an effect on their minds. It has an effect on their way of thinking. It has left them unable to feel inspiration, feeling, emotion, passion or intensity. They are not fully conscious or aware as they have lost connection to their soul. They are living, but they are not really alive. They have lost their humanity. 
they have lost the better qualities of humankind, such as kindness or compassion. They have lost the condition of what distinguishes us from inorganic matter. They have lost their ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. They have lost the ability to communicate with their higher self or with their true self. Because they no longer have any connection to their soul. They have dismissed the intelligence of their soul as being inadequate, unacceptable or faulty so that they can continue to engage in their fantasy world. They have rejected their own soul and now they can no longer receive fulfillment from anyone or anything because they have no soul to connect them to their humanity to the part of them that would have been concerned with or seeking to promote human welfare. Now the only way that they can receive fulfillment is by sponging off other people, by habitually exploiting or relying on other people, invading their lives to steal their energy, to steal their strength and vitality, their physical and mental powers, which is why they have to live through you. They have to live through the result of watching, listening to, or reading about your activities or interests rather than doing it on their own. They have to experience life through you. When they are doing this, they are connected to your soul and they are depriving you of your energy, your strength and vitality, your physical and mental powers. The soul is meant to ground the person's mind in reality. It is meant to ground the person's mind in the state of things as they actually exist as opposed to an idealistic or notional idea of them. This is what gives the person a purpose, something that motivates or encourages them to do good, a reason for their existence. Without a soul and without a purpose, they have no kindness or compassion. They push their soul away. They push their higher self or true self away. They rejected it, they dismissed it as inadequate, unacceptable or faulty because of the pain or trauma that they have experienced. They pushed their true self away so that they could give attention and consideration to multiple personalities where they are living through other people. This is where they are imitating other people. They are imitating whatever they think you want them to be. Whatever they think you might find desirable or attractive. Whatever they think you like or are interested in. Or they will use you as a model and they then simulate or copy you. They live through your experiences without having any real experiences of their own. They have to live through you. They have to steal your energy. They are in survival mode and they are incapable of producing this energy on their own. They have no soul, so they have no energy. They're just an empty void. And this is why they have such an insatiable yet unsatisfiable appetite or desire. They are not capable of being satisfied. They are not capable of experiencing contentment which is why they have to feed off your energy. They have to feed off your pain, trouble or annoyance. They have to provoke negative emotions within you because they rejected their soul. And all they have left is an empty void and an insatiable yet unsatisfiable appetite or desire for energy. They have to create this fake world or alternate reality where they have more control, where they can then create their own interpretations or distorted meanings, their own process of defining something. It gives them the power to influence and direct people's behavior and the course of events. 
They don't want to accept reality as it is. They don't want to live in truth or fact. They don't want to maintain a connection with their true self. Because they believe that their true self has failed them. They have dismissed their true self as being inadequate, unacceptable or faulty. Because they have experienced things that they didn't want to go through. So they have rebelled against their true self. They have rise in opposition against their true self, which is meant to have authority over them. They have rejected it. When you understand that they have lost their intrinsic nature or indispensable qualities, you should then realize why they function in this way. Why they are not real people. Why they do not feel any pity or sorrow for your misfortune. Why there are no shared feelings or opinions. Why you cannot connect with them. Because you're just talking to the exterior. The protective outer case of their multiple personalities. They are no longer connected with their true selves. They have disowned their true selves. All that is left is a soulless being or a machine. Something that lacks character and individuality. Something that lacks human feelings and qualities. They are not complete humans. They know what they are doing, but they cannot stop their sudden, strong and unreflected urge or desire to act. Because they are no longer connected to their true selves. They are in survival mode doing whatever they can to gather the energy that they need to sustain themselves, to keep them going. Narcissists are not real people. They have no identity of their own. They have no characteristics or qualities of their own. The narcissist lives in a fake alternate reality or fake world with their own interpretations or distorted meanings, which are not according with truth or fact. They are opposed to or denying of the truth or facts. Their existence is not real because they are not connected to their true selves and they are not operating in reality. They are doing everything they can to deny and escape from their true selves and from reality. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcotrivercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.